everyone, Allegra Miller here to share with you the astrology for today, February 14th, 2021, and the essential oils that will be helpful in processing this energy. For simplicity, I've divided the oils I'm going to be sharing about relative to the astro astrology into two different categories. The basic category, for those of you that maybe just got an enrollment kit and have some foundational oils at home to work with, um, the oils... In that category are doTERRA Lavender, Breathe, and Balance. In the specialty category, for those of you that are more seasoned and have more in your arsenal of support to work with, uh, the oils I've chosen are doTERRA Forgive, Peace, and Whisper. Um, if you don't yet have essential oils, you can still find benefit in this video by just listening to the properties of the oils and then internally uh, bringing intention to cultivate those properties within yourself. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't yet have doTERRA, please reach out. I'd love to help you in that journey. Not only do I sell doTERRA, I also offer naturopathic consultations and body work and life coaching sessions. I am very particular about doTERRA for the properties that I mentioned mentioning, so do keep that in mind. Uh, and I know I'm super late in the day in getting this video out today. It's not how I had planned it, but it is what it is, and it was important for me to continue this pattern and this daily practice of doing a video so I wanted to do it nonetheless so I'm going to keep things pretty simple today and just talking about the fact that the moon went into Aries this morning and what that means and why the oils I've chosen would benefit that energy so let's talk about Aries it's a fire cardinal sign which means it's got excellent leadership properties uh, it's the first sign of the zodiac ruled by Mars, so uh, it can have kind of a feisty, aggressive energy in it um, on one level. Uh, it can be very, um, very good at initiating. It would be another aspect to that energy. Um, great initiator, energetic, optimistic, uh, vibrant, uh, really good at um, being self-determined. Uh, it is the first sign of the zodiac, so it tends to be quite self-absorbed. It's very, it likes to be the center of attention. It doesn't handle being second in command very well. It Being the boss is very important to it. So it is in its element when it is in that role. So with that energy under the influence of this moon, we can we can uh, utilize that to our advantage in really taking uh, taking more authority in our in our in our world and stepping up to the plate and um, the ener the word that kept coming to me for this energy of the next few days was like uh, being a kickstarter fire starter getting things done energy is really like the big um, the big plus to having this moon right now, um, especially so close to the new moon, this will really propel some of those intentions that we, uh, the seeds that we just planted and uh, help us get things moving, get the ball rolling. It's kind of nice that it's happening first thing in the week too, um, so that'll set the tone. Uh, why did I choose these oils? Let's talk about that. Um, lavender I chose because lavender is really good for uh, communication. We're still under Mercury retrograde, and so anything to boost communication right now is of value. So lavender can be put right on the throat chakra, bottom of the feet. I actually have this ongoing trend lately of putting it in my lavender kombucha um, <clears throat> which may seem redundant but lavender kombucha is not real lavender like doTERRA lavender so when you put the real potent lavender into this lavender it's just it's it's good I'm a little addicted uh, anyway uh, so lavender yes internal topical and aromatic Balance <clears throat> to just help keep us grounded in this energy. Um, 
We've got, I've talked in many videos about all the air energy happening, so grounding is extra important these days. Um, I chose breathe. Breathe is a good one to huff, and in which case you're going to put some on your hands, rub your hands together, cup that over your nose and mouth without touching your eyes, and take some deep breaths in as deep as you can through both your nose and mouth. Because um, Aries is ruled by Mars, <clears throat> Aries is ruled by Mars, and with that, can um, with this energy can come perhaps a bit of rough composure with our words and actions, and uh, breathe can really help that help soften any impulsiveness, any tendency toward raging or explosive kind of behavior. Uh, breathe is excellent. It's got cardamom, which is really good at curbing um, explosive energies. It's got uh, lemon, which is good for, I will go into the details, but that's good. I would huff that. That's why I chose that for part of that energy. Uh, peace for more of a similar Similar note, peace is just good to keep us calm, grounded, less, uh, you know, keep the any tendency toward feistiness or aggressiveness, keep that at bay so we can channel the higher aspects of Aries, which is, um, well, a lot of what's in here will be helpful for that. I chose Whisper today because Whisper is like one of the, the best aphrodisiacs that I know of. Um, it's a great blend for uh, the heart energy. Good to put on the front and back of the heart, um, back of the neck, wrists. Uh, it is not only an aphrodisiac, but I mean I chose it because it's Valentine's Day. It's also just good at softening our, our field. It's really good um, for soothing the heart, healing the heart, making us more a balance with our femininity, irregardless of sex or sexuality. Uh, it is just a really, it's a really beautiful blend and it's got a lot of the holy, sac especially sacred oils that help us be, um, be an expression and thought, word and action of our, um, the depth of our wisdom, our God, Goddess, Self, the divine aspect of ourself, uh, helps us actualize that in form. Um, it's just got a like it's got so many of the good oils for um, creating an energy in our energetic feet. I mean, that's so redundant. Our creating the energetic of love and joy and compassion and uh, just a softening, softening and with a lighthearted note. And then forgive because we're still in this Mercury retrograde period, front and back of the heart, bottom of the feet, topical. This is topical and aromatic only. Um, really good. So that's all I'm going to say today. Um, thank you so much for listening. I hope you're having a great day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for listening, liking, sharing, subscribing to these videos and your support along the way. I really appreciate it. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.